This is our pitch. That's 10 to 7 in the morning. I'm just packing up. It's a beautiful morning. We're going up here. Aye, so we're off. Up at a reasonable time. Had a great sleep. You can see the first folk up where I was camping down there. It's so like Portuguese or Spanish people came up, asked if it was okay to camp next to me, which was polite of them. I just said, as long as you're not up all night steaming, getting drunk, you know. My goal is to get to the end, but come two o'clock, because there's a bus at two o'clock that takes me right back to Cocker Borneo Mouth or whatever it's called. Um, and that'll be, it's a direct bus, because it's a Sunday service. I think there's only the two. There's one at eight o'clock. There's no chance I'm getting that. That's in an hour's time. So we're going for the two o'clock one. Lovely morning though. It's a wee bit of a breeze, which is good. The sun's not at its height, of course. We've been so early. Hopefully the, the intermittent cloud cover keeps up to give us a wee wee bit of a break from the like oppressive sunshine yesterday that was six litres I drank six litres of water yesterday during the day and through the night wee bit of a descent there totally awesome it's just the, the coastline it just looks magnificent over there at this time in the morning There's a wee grassy bit down here, I would have quite liked to have camped around in this section because that's, it's busier back there because it's so close to St Abbs, it's the first place you hit really from St Abbs, so of course everyone stops there. I can see the sign over there, looks like it's taking us up to the right. That sign wasn't for us, the path you can now see goes over there. Here's another one of these things, oh right. Yesterday I thought it, was, it had been broken in half, but it may not have been. Uh, so there's still water here than now. Um, so if it were me, I'd camp here, rather than further along, just because it's quieter. You pull up from there, around, cross this wee bridge, and then we're going through this field here. Over there's another one of those caravan-y type places. From the distance it's just looks like thousands of caravans. Tons of humans again. And that's a, uh, when we get there, that's three miles from St Abbs. And then the next stage is 12 and a half. Aye, so if you hit a, you hit a park at the end of the coastal part and then you're just walking along the streets down into town, I assume. It's a lot of like 60s, 70s uh, houses about. Don't know why I'm saying that. This is really cool, I like this. And all the lamp posts as you're coming into town, they've got these posters up of, uh, look, Eye Mouth Herring Queen 1978. 1964 hey. Dog doing a runner look Ah, so we're down at the front I've not seen a sign for where to go next yet Look out for this guy Here Saying that we go around this way So here's the coastal path coming off the road. You walk up that road there, this guy. You see this sign for the coastal path back to a wooden sign. 
and uh, you have to beware of flying golf balls because we're going through this golf course you're only two minutes in the golf course until you come across the sign we are taking a right and uh, you're back to the coast which is good there's some cracking spots here Just came along the path there and I'm on a wee bench, there's wee benches at various bits here. I'm just sitting, taking in the view. So cool the way the, the crop moves when the wind blows over it. It's like it's alive. We've came down there, that's a moving field with the wind we're going up a wee bit here to drop down into a town aye uh, here's a wee town here just going to drop down into it now so I'm just coming down there there's no shops and I don't have any water it doesn't look like there's any shops over there um, and we're going up in the next on the map I can't see any rivers just this tourist map I've got so I was worried about water it's 8 mile to go but here, I've he I heard running water and I've found this in here so look out for that, it's at this picnic bench um, just as you come down into the bottom but if you're backpacking like me you come along there and there's a wee path that comes up here and around this stage it's feeling like a bit of a slog up that you come up a field from behind those houses after the pull up and you cross a fence and you walk along this road there's the railway line just up there and there is the there's a road you can hear it so it's a slog up the hill there um, after the road there's a, it, it's probably not that steep but feels it now and uh, you're all walking along the side of this railway there now it's flat there's a breeze coming through at times which is good um, I think from this point on it's flat or downhill I don't think there's any notable inclines still coming along the railway line but just stop for a wee second this cool old building down here roasting hot though you actually walk through the caravan park you can see it coming around there uh, and the road goes to the end here so I was just bringing up a guy in that caravan chapped the window and pointed me there's a style there so that was handy saved me backtracking a wee bit aye another thing just in the middle of the caravan park you come across a road and you take a left and it says three miles to where we are going Berwick and Tweed there's no way it's three miles my GPS is 4.85 and I generally find it's always a wee bit longer than that so don't believe when you get there like oh, oh it's three miles w way shorter than what I thought it was going to be we'll flee it no you won't it's, it's, there's no way that's three miles on foot here's this cool sea stack coming up it's a shame, I wish I had a wee bit more time to explore it I actually feel quite pressured for time now because I'm doing this at the weekend over two days the Sunday service, there's only two buses straight to where the car is back at the start you know, you have to crack on a wee bit so I can't take it as leisurely as what I'd otherwise like Ideally you'd do it during the week or over three days Take a Friday off and do a long weekend Or a Monday of course but Yeah it feels a wee bit pushed now Unfortunately There's a train that we might need to get if we don't make this bus That's a uh, Just coming up for 12 And 3.77 miles to go Bus is at quarter past two I think it is that's us on the last couple of miles now, so you can see all where we've came from. 
it's basically all flat walking uh, for the majority of this part because it follows the railway so it's pretty flat you uh, come past the caravans again there's this bay we're going along here only about a mile or so to go we wee bit pushed for time not pushed enough for one of these guys though we're just passing this chap along the edge of the golf course basically um, let's see what that says oh I can't tell oh. a mile mile exactly to go right as I'll get there for about half one now that's to the pier this ends at the pier we need to get up to the post uh, not box post office a lighthouse over there, that's cool welcome to Berwick Pier alright well that's very good, where the hell is the post office? it's quite bad, I really should have checked that first just look at the post office now, luckily it wasn't all the way over the water I think it's up here to the right so it's not the bus station you're looking for at all, it's actually the railway station so it's the 253 bus you're looking for I reckon that's it down there So Matt Dunbar train station Just got off the bus I fell asleep And uh, I, I missed my spot I missed my stop So that's me in Dunbar The next Luckily there is a bus back The, after the back of six That goes the other way The same bus he drives to Edinburgh and drives back I could get that But I've just a faster taxi It's about 21 quid So he's going to come and get us and take us there the now an idea, yeah. <laughs> That's us back in the car, the taxi's just dropped us off. £21, 50 or something like that. I gave the guy a tip, of course, he came really quickly. Um, so that was good. What a what an idiot though, falling asleep in the bus and missing my stop. But anyway, I was looking to see what time it was, but um, we're off, that's up, finished. Gonna go back home now. I'll put a link up here to my channel, like or subscribe. Um, I'll be doing more videos, more long distance walk videos, tips and tricks, gear reviews, such and such. Um, I'll put a link up here and here to a couple of other long distance walks that I've already done, uh, so you can go and check them out if you like. But thanks for watching. Cheers. Oh, don't 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 fall asleep in the bus. By the way, if you're going to do this and uh, bring enough water, that's for sure. See you later, bye.